Oh yeah, this phone gonna be the death of me. I believe I done worked the sucker to death. Ooh, that's a nice one. So let me tell y'all what this video. Ooh, this is a good one too. What this video is gonna be about. So this video is gonna be about. Ooh, there's another one. I'm just gonna pile them up right there. Ooh, here's another one. Um. So this is gonna be about these yams and how to harvest the um this is an acre harvest the aerial tubers so if you see one right here you just want to get it and take him out that's all you have to do um so these aerial tubers the one that i have here is the cinnamon vine um and let me lift this and show y'all the best i can you kind of have to look on the kind of toward the back of the vine that's where you will find them and they usually grow in clusters of two or three these are true yams people not sweet potatoes are not yams i don't care what bruce's tell you that can i don't care what bruce's tell you bruce is lying to you um bruce just happened to patent the word yam uh because we call them candy yams but they were really made out of sweet potatoes because yams are not native to North America, they're native to Africa and other tropical regions. Okay, y'all? So I just want to let y'all know that. But um, I'm going to step around over here and try to show y'all how they be on the back. So, uh oh, I'm about to go down. It's hilly over here. So, anyway, can y'all see? Uh oh, that one fell. And they do come off easily. So I'm going to look down. That was a good size one. Here he is right here. Um, and I'm going to take this opportunity while I'm harvesting. See, I had started this video before. And my phone just decided to randomly restart for some reason. So I lost all of what I was saying. So... Let me tell y'all about these and why I recommend you grow them if you can. Now, first of all, let me clear up some things. Um, there are certain things that I never get asked for uh, as far as my YouTube channel. That's usually poke, poke on. People don't ask for that very much. People don't ask for yams either. Um, and I think the reason is people may think that this is the same as the air potatoes or the yams in Florida that are categorized as being uh, invasive. Um, I want to caution you and say that these are not the same. Why? The ones in Florida, um, if I would have had the ones in Florida and planted them, they would have overtook my whole yard probably in two or three weeks maybe four weeks with no intervention at all. Um, and I'm not joking. That's how fast they grow. That's number one. Number two, was that a bird or what? All right, Chrissy. Chrissy getting ready to get with it. Anyway, um, <laughs> number two, because I want to impress upon y'all, the yams are planted in there. They grew up, and they're not even at the top of the apple tree. They kind of grew right there and just kind of stopped. They don't grow that um vigorously they're not that's why i said they're not that kind of yam um second of all the one in florida is not edible the air tubers are not edible and i think the tuber that it makes underground is not edible as well as a matter of fact if i'm not mistaken it is at the very least slightly poisonous i'm just looking for some more big ones let me show y'all something when they little like that i leave them and let them get a little bigger you can you harvest them at that size definitely you definitely can because when you get to the end of the season you very well may have a bunch of them that are that smaller size but i try to harvest mine at at least a marble size or bigger um and this is my little pile i collected but i'm gonna pull out of my pocket what i had already collected when i was filming and y'all missed all that i'm sorry my phone restarted don't save the video so this is a fairly big one 
Um, but like I was saying, the, the ones in Florida, you, you can't eat them. So they're, they're a completely useless plant. You can't eat the air tubers. You can't eat um, the tubers in the ground. They're actually poisonous and they grow very, 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 very fast without any intervention. As a matter of fact, they grow very much like kudzu. Um, kudzu, if y'all know anything about that stuff, it, uh, and then this is the rest of my little harvest. So I know that's all on them, but y'all see them. Ooh, that's a pretty one. It's a big one. Anyway, uh, so I'm saying that to say these are more of a garden variety type. They, they're not going to take over your whole yard. Um, it's going to be very hard. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm supposed to be showing y'all. See, I usually don't get them that size, but sometimes I go ahead and get them. Uh, but this is not going to be something that's going to take over your whole yard. Give it something to climb on. I let it climb on this apple tree and it didn't hurt the apple tree at all. Excuse me, pear tree. It didn't hurt the pear tree, didn't pull the pear tree down. Look at how small the vines are. It's not a detrimental plant. It's gonna die down in the winter. Um, you can just pull all these vines down. I usually pull them all down and put them in there and let them just compost in place and feed the plant for next season. Um, it's gonna take you it depends on your growing or your soil and stuff, but the first year, you may be able to get a tuber out of there, under the ground. But I didn't. The first year, I just let it grow. But I don't recommend you really try to get a tuber the first year. I recommend you at least give it two years, maybe even three, to get a good sized tuber out of the ground. Um, to grow these, you can either just simply plant you one of these bulb bills. I don't know if you can see. Y'all see those these little dots on here? It's some little dots. They almost look like the eyes on a potato. All of them have them. And um all those, you see those little dots? There's one, there's one, there's one. They kind of all over. That's how they they'll sprout out of those. Um or you can plant a piece of the tuber in the ground back. Um most people I know that usually grow these, usually they're from the Caribbean uh, or Africa. Those are the only gardeners like backyard uh, former pet. She's got some. She doesn't have the same variety that I have. I want some of hers. Um, and I was telling her that she could eat the aerial potatoes. She didn't know she could eat those because... Um, you know, she's from Jamaica. Most of the time, they just eat the tuber in the ground. They never really tell them you can eat the aerial tuber um, as well. And if you're wondering what they're going to taste like, okay, so as a yam, if you were to cut those or if you were to get the tuber out of the ground and cut it, it's slimy, just like okra. But let me say this. When you cook it, it's not going to be slimy. I did a video a long time ago where I cooked some eggs and I put some of them in there and I put something else in it. You can boil those and these boil up and cook up just like potatoes. You know those little bitty potatoes you can get in the store? Sometimes they come in, they look, they look like Yukon Golds. They come in like a golden color, purple color, red color, and then you can get them with all three colors in one bag. These cook up just like those. So you want to wash them real good. I don't even peel them. Once you wash them real good, uh, it's just like those potatoes. You wouldn't necessarily peel those. You would eat them with the skin on. You can roast them. You can boil them. They're going to taste just like potatoes. They are not slimy once you cook them. They will be slimy when they are raw. Um, and I do want to impress upon you these real yams. They have a lot of medicinal benefits. Oh, here's a good one over here. I didn't see. Um... There's one there. They have a lot of uh, medicinal benefits to them. If you look them up, Asia and Africa, they've used them for years and years and years to help with various things. So if you look that up, it's one of the few potatoes that, for instance, Irish potatoes has no medicinal. I'm not saying don't grow Irish potatoes. I simply don't anymore because those taste just like Irish potatoes. Um, so I don't grow them anymore. I just grow yams. If you have enough of these plants, you can get enough aerial tubers to uh, 
cook those aero tubers keep very well um the yam tubers keep pretty good as well now can't you keep them for six seven eight nine ten months i ain't gonna say that because i ain't never tried that um if anybody knows how long these yam tubers keep uh put it down in the comments because i'm unsure when i when i harvest me one I bought them from the store. Now, let me say that. I bought them from the store and cooked with them. I've just never, when I buy one, I'm going to cook right then. So, I've never bought one and actually stored it to see how long. And that's what I was going to do with these. Depending on how many I get, I may cook one right then. And then I may keep another one and store it for a while. And, um, but yeah. So, you know, if anybody knows, put it in the comments and let people know. Oh, it's some, it's some good size ones way up there. I wonder can I reach those. I just keep seeing them, y'all. Yeah. I'm going to, uh, I know Nature 9 wants some of these. So, Nature 9 is going to get some. But, yeah, I just want to, uh-oh. Let me hold on, y'all. I got them. I got them. Uh I just want to tell y'all to, you know, try them. Uh, do you need a ton of space? Nope. Uh, like I said, I just grew these on top on this on this fruit tree. If you have a fruit tree, um, that and how can I put this? So my fruit tree is fruit biennially because I do not thin. Uh, and I prefer being able to kind of switch up which, uh fruits and things I harvest every year but even a tree that's going to bloom I don't think it's going to interfere because this this pear tree did have pears on it the squirrels got them uh what I'm saying is if you got a pear tree use your pear tree as a trellis if you got a little piece of fence use your fence as a trellis you're not going to need a huge huge trellis because I'm kind of showing y'all you see what I'm saying and I am growing this in shade let me say that these grow in the rainforest. They are understory plant. They want to grow up on something, but they don't necessarily need direct sun. I have not fed these. Um, I have not done anything, you know, particular. I just keep them watered. Um, keep in mind they are they are tropical plants, so they do. Uh, want water now they don't need a ton of water but think about how to if anybody know how the rainforest works when it rain it rains you get what i'm saying so make sure they get a good rain if they start drooping or looking crazy water um i wasn't watering these every day because they're in the shade as i said but you know you want to keep the soil moist so that it can do what it's gonna do and i'm gonna be honest and tell you i think that's why my my bulb bills this year are bigger than they were that first year. The first year, I got a bunch of them that was like that size. But in comparison, you see that? This is a bigger one. But that wasn't even the biggest one. I showed y'all the biggest one. So, but like I said, all you have to do is wash them. And if you're going to roast them, wash them real good. Put some olive oil on them. Y'all know my little recipe. Put you some whatever kind of seasoning you like salt and pepper whatever yeah, I if you never had it before I say just put salt and pepper on them like I said it tastes like potatoes and um they are good um but yeah I recommend you grow this for your health and also it is a pretty plant to me um it's useful you're gonna get a tuber under now tuber under the ground would be much bigger than the aerial potatoes but at least you get two crops out of it um you don't need a ton of space for it. I say you can even grow it on a balcony if you want. Um, it won't too much take, take over your balcony because you can kind of train it and keep it where you want to keep it at. So um, I just want to impress upon you all that, you know, that's one more thing that you can grow uh, come summertime or whatever. And this is this going to be a summer plant, y'all. You're not going to want to plant this uh, in the wintertime. Uh, or the fall because it, 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 it dies back and just like how you see it here this will die back 
like I said, I use the vines the most with. If you have any aerial pot uh, potatoes that hit the ground, let me warn you, in the spring they will germinate. I'm going to say that again. In the spring they will germinate. I'm going to say that again. In the spring they will germinate. I had a whole bunch of them over there to germinate, but it wasn't a big thing. Um, I weed whacked over there and weed whacked them all down. I ain't going to lie to you, I had about 100 of them germinate over there. Because I didn't realize how many I, you know, had fallen. Um, and I think that's why some people are like, oh, but they're so invasive. And you walk on them a couple of times, you'll kill them. You see how little, how thin the vines are. Sweet potato vines are actually much thicker than these. So please don't think or let somebody tell you, oh, it's going to take over your whole yard. It's going to, you know, uh, it's not that kind of plant. Uh, if the vines get, get to growing somewhere, you just clip that part of the vine off. You know what I'm saying? People make so much uh you know out of something it ain't even nothing just clip that part of the vine off or wrap it back around your trellis because you can just wrap it it'll grow all up and down up and down you can keep it confined to your trellis uh because these in here see how thick that grew up down up down up down, over and over again that like if i go in there and try to pull it out that's a whole nest of vines so so yeah y'all y'all try some true yams um if anybody wants some bulb bills so that they can grow them some um let me know and um you are welcome to them because i it makes more bulb bills than i generally will eat um like i said a lot of times they'll fall um i bet you if i scan down here it's probably some i probably would find some down here uh i don't see none off top but i'm sure there are some uh but yeah Till next time, see you guys later.